evening is uh, what's today? June Thursday, June 17th, I think. Um half past eight in the evening. Hello guys. Sorry guys, I'm sweating. It's too hot here in Philippines. Our discussion is for today is mababait ba ang mga pritong na asawa? So, for me, thank you very much sa mga support. Thank you sa team friendship. Thank you sa lahat. Shout out sa inyo lahat. Um, for me, yes, mababait yung mga pritong. Especially if you getting to know them better, like your husband or your partner. Kasi they will, uh, there are more concern to their family as well. I have a list, so I will be <laughs> guide me if I'm lost. Um, yeah, mababait. Uh, especially, they are more concerned to their family. They focus on their families as well, like the expenses, the bills, ano nila yung priority nila yun. Kasi, like, not like the other people, you know, they more spending, big time spender, and then tomorrow, utang. Pero sa kanila, they're more focused to houses, to pay the bills, or the future, like that. And then, if you find there are some of them are really good uh, people, if you getting to know them. And then, I like the way they talk, they're soft-spoken, and then they have a different accent as well. And then, when you talk to them you will you will be amazed because they always say yes uh, they always say please and thank you all the time you know there's a politeness and they're very uh, straightforward as well if they ask you they will tell you direct to the point as well and then and then I'm noticed when I'm here, when I'm in the UK as well, when I arrived 2005. Oh, somebody asked me a question, how did I adjust? No una, mas struggle kasi it's a different country and different weather, different uh, different lifestyle as well because you know, sa Pilipinas, you can talk to neighbor, you know your neighbor, you know, you can cheat and ch uh, you can chat. But in the UK, is more indoor. So you will see your neighbor or kapitbahay, hi, hello, but you don't know their name actually. So you just say hi, hello, that's it. And then mostly they're all indoor, stay at home because they all busy working, you know, or more they they doing their housework like that. And then I notice when they meet up, they will mostly drink cup of tea and coffee like hot drink, cup of tea with milk, cup or like afternoon tea with the cakes, and cakes. And you know, um, pick it uh, like uh, what do you call it there? Sweets, the scone. Anyway, the, that's how I notice. When I'm, when I'm adjusting about that time, is you know, look for Filipino community so you, you know, you will meet up, you can uh, go out, or you can meet together when you're day off meet up all the Filipino, catching up, and then bring some food. Then, na-notice na ko rin na pag may birthday sa, sa Briton, pag pupunta sa restaurant, ah, KKB ba? Hindi siya yung katulad sa Pilipinas na magbabayad yung ano, yung 
my birthday or may ano nag uh, invite doon naman KKB talaga tap kanya-kanyang bayad sa bill o maybe sometimes if someone treat you you can uh, pay later in other other way you know coffee or have a drink in a pub or you know going out and then pag nag meet up you have to bring your own uh you have to bring your own share like food yeah, to the Filipino community or Filipino you met friend you have to bring something you know your share or if you meet with a British friend you meet up and then you just bring your own share so like pick up pick up anything you know that's not really big deal because um, they not really spending all of all the food not like in Philippines you know like one day millionaire <laughs> you know what I mean this is one is based on my own experience based on what I learned when I went to the UK bit struggle at first because you have to adjust sa food sa lugar sa weather yung ano nila kalakaran tsaka mga busy mga tao dun kasi they working kasi they buy ng bahay bills you know everything and cost of living as well mahal and mostly nagbuy ng tax like council tax pag nag rent ka o may bahay ka buhay ka dun sa tax na inuupahan mo nakatira ka TV license buhay ka dun sa gumili ka ng TV may license yun so a, a year naman yun pero meron exemption naman yun kung nangyari senior o if you have another TV may... hello guys I'm back na low bat ako. So, yun. Ano, and then, ano, uh, mga British, eh, hindi masyado mga sila. So, as long as, you know, they open sila, pag meron silang, ano, sasabihin sa iyo, kaya, control, control yung mga jealous nyo. Tsaka, ano sila, mga babait, concern sila sa iyo. Kaya, rin, ano, they will give you advice, tapos, uh, they'll save you if you have a problem. Like, if you work with the British in the hospital or the healthcare field, they will try to sort it out what's going on. They try to help you. They try their best. They will give you advice. If you're new to the field, they will give you uh, more training or more um, more induction or they will have spend time with you so you will explain that type of work I've noticed that when I work in the healthcare field na mayroon kang ma uh, encounter na mga British na babait mayroon yung iba na ano na alam mo na na medyo sumisip-sip sa mga boss based on my own experience. Kaya lang, huwag ka lang masyadong magpapa tawag dito, magpapabuli sa kanila. As long as you know if you have the right in that situation na ipaglaban mo. Pero kung ano, ano na lang, quiet na lang kung, di ba, parang merong ganyan na issue. Kasi lalong lalaki Kung, kunyari, kung meron kang fault, you admit to them na may fault ka. Kasi magkakaroon ng, ano ba, siraan sa, sa work niya o sa work colleague. So, yun ang napansin ko. Galante ba din ba ang mga British? Depende. Meron, may mga galante. Sa akin naman, okay lang. Uh, more on focus on sa bahay, expenses, nag-share nag kami ng buy ng bills sa uh, so shopping, kung ano-ano. Parang half-half ba yung share. So, walang, ano, walang lamang. Ganun sa kanila. Tsaka, they work hard for 
for the houses. They're more on decorating houses or going holiday. Parang yan ang pinakaan nila, happiness. Hindi katulad ng mga ano, sa atin, sa sa Pinas, more on showing off na bilhin ng bago, ganyan-ganyan, bagong phone, bagong damit, etc. Gadget. Sa kanila, hindi. Hindi sila ganun kakin. More on ano sila sa sa house, sa mga pangangailangan sa pamilya yun. And then, I told you, they, they always like uh, tea, cup of tea, and then they always go to the pub or what do you call this? Mga ano, bar, mga, iba, mga bar or pub. Iinom ng mga beer or lager, mga pint, tapos they eat normally fish and chips every Friday or sausages, and they like watching football most of the time. And then, gusto ko din sa kanila yung mga mga British na na pagbago ka pa lang if you apply to the certain job, they will give you a chance or they will give you opportunity to work. No, there's no disregard of nationality. You know, they will give you experience. Uh, they will give you a chance to to work in their company. They know the Pilip Filipino are working hard, hard working. So they know if it's they will work overtime. So that's why they grab mostly the Asian people I've noticed uh, what I've experienced what I've seen. And then they are a good listener for you, you know, they will talk to you what's going on. Talk to you nicely, and then if you weakness on that certain area, they will tell you what's supposed to be. They will give you advice as well. And then um, I met my husband. I think I've seen that long time. I met my, where I met my husband through Yahoo, through uh, online chat. So it's just accidentally because I've been chatting more than two years. So I just say hi, hello, in certain chat, and that's it, that's where, that's where we start our love story. So that's all guys, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much the supports, and thank you sa mga, shout out ko yung mga support sa akin, please subscribe, if not subscribe, like, share, and comments down, down below on mga question nyo. And thank you guys, so ang shout out ko mga at the end of this, Thank you. Bye.